Hey, what's up guys, it's Jay Elliott with MSX Sound. In the last video, I showed you how to latch on fly tape effects within Beatmaker 3. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to map fly tape and low fly dirt to an external MIDI controller. So let's just get right into it. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you how to map fly tape and low fly dirt to an external MIDI controller via the macros. And the controller that we'll be using today is the Novation Launch Control. You could use any controller that you want, but I've decided to use this one today. So as you can see here, we're in our main mix window, and I'm going to add the effects to our main out. So we'll just go to the effects section, go add effect, audio unit, audio unit, and we are going to select fly tape. We'll open that and we'll go to show AU knobs. So as you can see here again, we have all the parameters for fly tape. Over here we have tape stop, mute, half speed, saturate, saturate mode, lo-fi, and etc. So let's go ahead and map tape stop to the launch control. It's really simple. So all you gotta do is go to the tape stop parameter, double tap it, now we have the option to go into macro controls and we can assign it to whichever macro that we want to. So I'm going to go ahead and assign it to macro one. All right. So now that we have tape stop assigned to macro number one, all we have to do now is go into our MIDI settings and assign that macro to our launch control. So if we exit out of here, we'll go to this tab and go to our settings tab. And now we're right where we need to be, which is the MIDI focus action section. So everything that you see here, we can assign to our MIDI controller. So let's go ahead and look for macro number one. All right, so here we have all the macro controls. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on macro one. Now all I have to do is press any of these pads or adjust any of these knob parameters to assign that to macro number one. So I'm just going to hit this pad over here and it's as simple as that. And now that's already assigned to macro number one. So if we go back to our effects window and on our main out channel, we'll go back into fly tape. Now when I hit pad number one, you're going to see this parameter start to move. So let's play the beat for a minute. Pretty easy, right? Now you can go ahead and do everything one by one, just like how I showed you, or you can assign all the macros first and then go ahead into the MIDI section and assign all the macros to your external MIDI controller. All right, so now that we got that covered, let's assign low fly dirt to the launch control. So all we gotta do is copy the exact same steps. So we'll go to add effect, audio unit, audio unit, select low fly dirt, open up low fly dirt, go to our AU knob section. And here we have all the parameters for low fly dirt. So the only thing I'm gonna assign here is the dry wet ratio parameter. So I'm gonna go ahead and double tap the parameter macro controls and I'll just select macro three. So I'm going to exit out of here. Now, before I go into the MIDI section, I'm just going to go ahead and select which effect I want to add. So I'm going to select that. Now I can get out of here, go back into the settings, go to macro three and I will assign that to this right here. So now that's all set. So as you can see over here, we have this assigned to the dry and wet parameter.
pretty cool, right? So another thing I want to mention is in the MIDI settings section, a dope thing you can do is save all your MIDI settings. So if you go over here to the top right corner, you can save your template or load up any other template that you've previously saved. So let's say I have another MIDI controller like the Akai MPK. I can make all my settings for that and then save that template. And then whatever controller I decide to use, I can go ahead and load that up. So I already have a launch control template here. So I'll load that. And you can see I have all my settings already set. So before I wrap this up, I'm going to quickly show you all the settings that I have set up for the launch control. Alright, so we're back here in the fly tape parameters and let me quickly show you how I have this set up. Alright, so I got tape stop on 1, mute on 2, half speed on 3, saturate on 4, lo-fi on 5, loop on 6, stutter on 7, stutter mode on my knob parameter over here, right above 7. So that will basically change all the different um, time signatures for stutter mode. And then I have noise set over here. And my pitch slider set on this knob. And I also have lo-fi dirt assigned here cool so now you've seen how everything is set up let's go ahead and start playing around with this Alright, so I hope you guys found this helpful. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to automate fly tape and low fly dirt once again in BeatMaker 3. And if you haven't watched our first tutorial, just check out the description box below and you'll find a link to that video. Alright y'all, thanks for watching. Until the next one. Peace. Hand me that ox cord.